we're at uh, the rest area, we're going to dump some garbage and we're also going to check and see if there is any water. Nobody is at the spigot at the moment, but that doesn't mean that there isn't any water. So we're going to go check. Let Tom dump the garbage and I will go check the water. Sunsets like a tangerine. Let's find a road we've never seen. Life is short. Make it sweet. So the other day when we came here to get water, which is where we normally come when we stay out here on Ogilby Road, the water spigot wasn't working. So either the well would run dry or the uh, pump wasn't working or something. Look at the little birdie. I'm getting a drink. Well, there's water here, so it must be working again. Let's see. Aha! There, let there be water. Yay! Okay, that's good news. Must have been something wrong with the pump. So, awesome. There's water. Good to know. Good to know. So they have these dumpsters. There's two here and there's like three over there on the other side, which is very handy. Yes, there is water. And I let it run for a few minutes and it's a lot stronger pressure. Wow. So, yay. Look at the little birdies drinking from it. <laughs> there's water again, woohoo. There'll be a lot of happy campers around here for that. So good, we got trash dumped and checked to see if there was water again, and there is. So now we are headed into town. Um, we're gonna go have, spend some time with Bob and Pearl. We gotta stop at the post office, have some stuff to mail, and have to stop at Walmart on our way home. So that should do it for right now. Oh, that's a relief to know that it's not like the whale's gone dry and they're not yeah. going to do another one. Probably something wrong with the pump. So ever since we purchased the rig and the truck together, we've had an issue with the truck driver's side window. You know how it's got the automatic and things like that? We've always had some issues with it going down on the auto. But when you press up, it won't go half the time. And I thought it might have been a bad fuse, so I checked the fuses. We uh, actually, in the very beginning, had the motor replaced down in here to no avail. And we just kind of put up with it. And it seemed to work and work and work. And then all of a sudden, for a few weeks, it just kind of stopped working. So I thought, okay, I'm going to spend the money, go buy a new controller, put it in. Turn on the keys. Keys are on. We just replaced it. Let's go auto and see what happens. And down she goes. Now let's see if it goes up. Oh, oh man, you smell that? <laughs> That's a sweet smell of success. I don't smell it very often. Well, we decided the last time we went out, we had to pull slides in, we would leave the old switch in here because it was working. Well, the last time that we put the slide in and out, it wasn't working so good. So we're just going to go ahead and change it out and have the new one in here. So the kitchen one is fine. I'm going to put that back in there and put the screws back in because we've been swapping them. And then I'm just going to change this old switch out. Oops, Oops. Guess that's how it's done, <laughs> I guess eh? So. And. So that's the bad switch right here. Yep. The, the it works sometimes switch. Yeah. Which so I'm we'll, going to label that. We'll keep it as an emergency. All right. And so we're going to put that back in there. And that should work. And that's it. Yep, so we'll find out tomorrow when we have travel day if it works or not. Because I don't want to try and bring in the slide now. So, we'll 
find out tomorrow. I'm not going to screw it in yet until I know for sure. Today I am making peanut butter balls. We are going over to Bob and Pearl's tomorrow with a group of people and I said I'd bring dessert. So this is one of the desserts I'm bringing. And I, so I've already made the uh, filling mix. This is actually a recipe that is like for Reese's, Reese's quote unquote Reese's peanut butter cups, but I just found it easier just to make them into balls. So I've already made the filling, which is um, peanut butter, um, grant, uh, let's see here, powdered sugar, butter, uh, graham crackers, and so I've already made that and I've had it in the refrigerator chilling because you want this cool and actually when I'm done making the balls I put it in the freezer for um, a little while to make them even harder so that when I dip them in uh, melted chocolate they stay their shape instead of melting down just makes them easier to work with Okay, I've got all the balls uh, formed. This is just about half a batch. I still have plenty more, but I like to do it in small batches. So these are gonna go into the freezer for probably about in between a half an hour to an hour, depending on what else I've got going on, but it won't hurt them to stay in longer. So I think the minimum I would want them in there is just a half an hour. So I'm gonna put them in the freezer and get them all frozen up so I can dip them in the chocolate. Okay, my peanut butter balls have been in the freezer for over an hour now, and I have some um, mixed, I have milk chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate chips here, and I'm going to melt them um, like on a double boiler. Uh, so I have water in this pan that I'm going to get boiling and hot, turn it off, and then put these on top and let them melt, and then I can start dipping. Okay, my water is boiling. I'm going to turn it off now, and I'm going to set this right on top of it and wait for them to melt. Um, I like doing it this way. We never use our microwave, so I don't melt chocolate in the microwave. Okay, time to dip the peanut butter balls in the chocolate. Tap off the excess chocolate. And then lay it on a foil lined pan. Okay, so I have covered the all the little peanut butter balls with chocolate and now I'm going to put it in the refrigerator so they can set up and they will be done. I still have some chocolate left so I will be doing some chocolate covered um, pretzels. Okay so with the rest of the chocolate that's melted I am just dipping pretzels in it and putting it on a cookie sheet. So simple and yet so tasty. Alrighty, it's time to make up the goodie tray. All of the goodies have been made. And now it's just time to put them on the... My ancient Tupperware that I've used for a million years. Bet you guys didn't know I was that old. Or that Tupperware was that old. These are the peanut butter balls. chocolate pretzels. I don't get fancy with those. I'll just kind of put it in here. And these are chocolate brownie bites. Yikes. These are gonna be yummy. <laughs> So 
all I did was make a batch of brownies. This is half of a brownie batter pan, half of a brownie pan. I just cut up into little tiny squares and then dipped them in the chocolate, just like I did the peanut butter balls. squares that I didn't dip in chocolate so we'll put some of those over here just in case somebody wants not so much chocolate who would want not so much chocolate <laughs> I mean come on hey that's a great joke to use for Saturday I know that's pretty funny <laughs> who doesn't like chocolate Write your headline and raise it to the sky. 